Today we're going to be um, working on the EH. I've put it up on the rotisserie, which you would have seen uh, in a previous video on that. I've already started to, to strip back this, so what we're trying to do is, is get it back down to bare metal so we can put an epoxy primer on it, which will uh, protect the, the paint, uh, sorry, protect the metal. Um, and stopped it from, from rusting and corroding. The, the problem with these old Holdens is that they, um, especially on the inside when we flip it over and I'll show you the inside and that, they didn't, they didn't really uh, coat the inside of the, the metal and that. And so that's why these things rust out, particularly up in the, in the sill panels and um, there's common areas like these floor pans and that. These are, are very common places that, that they rust out and that. So I've already done the floor pans when it was sitting on jack stands but i'm not that happy with them so part of what i'm going to do today is um continue you know getting this back to bare metal and that you can see it's some some spots are really good but some spots are a bit dodgy in that and i might have to go over the you know these little bits and you know all these little fiddly bits in here that you can't get with a flappy disc you know we might have to get with um some sandblasting grit or something like that uh, and then i want to also now that it's upside down i actually want to redo some of these uh welds that i've got in the in the floor pan and that too so just to tidy everything up like that uh, so there's a bit of work and So you probably can't see it from the um, from the time lapse, but what we're trying to do is we're trying to get it back to, to nice clean metal like this, right? Um, the I don't know if you can see it, but I did this probably a couple of months ago, and then didn't put any any primer over it, and now it's sort of um, it's got to the point now where it's rusted over again. So you know. If I just see that difference there like from that you know from that sort of scale that like you see that bit of bit of scale over it's sort of like a real um thin film of rust uh and what we're what we're doing is just is knocking off that again so i've already done most of this before but um i'm getting in there again being able to sort of get into all these little grooves and everything like that what i'm using instead of a flat disc it's a like a clean and strip disc uh, it's actually called a clean and strip disc. So it's not as, uh, you know, as abrasive as like a flat disc that you would use to grind back your welds and everything like that. It's more just to, to strip through the coat of paint. It's, it's like, I don't even know what material it is, but it's, it's basically very, um, you know, <laughs> it knocks the paint off. Really easy. Right. So pretty cool. Um, yeah, and it comes, I'm using it in the, just an angle grinder at the moment. I've also got 75 mil ones, which I'll put into, uh, like a, an air grinder, um, in a minute, which is a bit smaller. I can get into, into these small little areas and that, but first things first, I'm just getting all the main areas done. So, and then I'll, I'll come through with the welder and that, and then knock these off, um, use the proper flat disc to, to, to bring them back. But just wanted to show you the, if you, if you sort of leave this as it is, the paint's not gonna to stick to it and that. So it's, it's all about getting it all back to, to bare metal. So the, the epoxy can hold on to the bare metal and that gives you a nice base um, to put the paint on for one, uh, put the underbody paint on for one, but two, to stop the rust happening in the future.
All right, just uh, just finished some of these welds in here. Just when I was doing the floor pans, I couldn't get to it obviously when it was on the jack stand. So um, just to be able to get into these now is is a good thing. It's probably probably a little overkill, um, you know. But yeah, just to have that extra sort of bit of bracing there, I'm going to fill this now with seam sealer. Uh, just the seam seal all that in there now just to make sure it doesn't leak and no water and that gets in but um, yeah finish these up and then might flip it over and do the other side Okay, issue. I've gone to you gone to go start welding here, um, and it just was not taking well, and it's because there is still a thin film of uh, factory seam sealer. Now this seam sealer, you know, obviously the weld just does not um, like to go through that. Um, it, it eventually gets through it. You, but if there's a whole lot of crackling and popping and that going on so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get the sandblaster out and just bead blast this little seam here so that I can lay a nice weld along there so it's nice and clean and that so anyway a bit more work but that's okay that's what that's what this that's what these are all about these um, these restoration jobs They're all these little finicky little jobs and that they don't just slap together really quick but if you don't do this right, you won't get a good weld on there. And therefore, you know, invariably you might even end up getting a bit of rust under there again. And you have to do this again in the next 10 years. So do it right the first time, get it done. There's probably enough time to throw some epoxy on this tonight, so I might just do that. Um, as you saw, I've you know, had to get in here with the with the sandblaster and that to get all that out. So it's still, I mean, is it looking as as shiny as this? No, but you know, at least all that dirt and grime's gone, and it's it's the main thing is to scuff it up. So we've scuffed it up. So that's the main thing. So we'll um, put some primer on it, and then. Keep going on the rust repairs, I guess.
let's see how we went. Not bad. Now you're probably asking, why didn't you go and do the wheel arches? You idiot. I've got a lot of work to do in the wheel arches. I've got a, I mean, there's a whole heap of mud and everything up there, but like, you know, there's, there's a heap of rust repair and that to do in there. So I wanted to at least get the, the big bits, you know, because I'd done a lot of the stripping back and in here, I just wanted to get some paint on this one first. I'll get to the wheel arches at some point, but I can move now. I can move it sort of in a rotation wherever I want now to be able to get to the best parts of it now. So, yeah, job done.